Um, so I'd like to call the May 2nd meeting of the uh, Town of Arlington Redevelopment Board to order. I'm Rachel Zemberry, Chair of the Board. Uh, please note that this meeting of the Redevelopment Board is being conducted remotely for the Governor's extension of the remote meeting provisions of the Executive Order of March 12th, 2020, due to the state of emergency for the COVID-19 virus. For this meeting, the Redevelopment Board is convening via Zoom as posted on the town's website, identifying how the public may join. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating via video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other people may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. So at this time, I'd like to take a roll call of the board members to ensure that uh, they are all present and can hear me. Starting with uh, Kim Lau, who's not with us this evening. Jean Benson. Present. Melissa Tintakoulos. Here. Steve Revelak. Good evening, Madam Chair. Good evening. And we have two members of the Department of Planning and Community Development, Director Jenny Rate. Present. And Assistant Director Kelly Lenma. Present. Great, thank you. Um, so, Kelly, I'm not sure if the applicant is back on. Um, perhaps that is the person identified as guest. I don't know. Um, oh, here she is. Yeah, oh, she just know. entered the room. Great. So once um, she connects to audio, fabulous. Kelly, if you or... Um, or the interpreter, um, Magda, could uh, just make sure to provide the instructions again on how to um, how to select your language. That would be helpful. Sure, um, Magda, could you help with that? Yes. So we have Francia Brito here. Hola, Francia. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Oh, go ahead, Magda. Bien. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right. Um, so at this time, what I'd like to do is uh, go ahead and open our first public hearing, uh, which is the Environmental Design Review for Special Permit Docket Number 3694 for 88 Fremont Street. Um, and I'd like to start by asking um, either Jenny or Kelly from the Department of Planning and Community Deve Development to give a um, brief background on the um, on the docket, anything that you'd like to add in addition to the memo, and then we'll um, welcome the, the applicant uh, to, um, to provide a, a, a brief presentation to the board. Jenny? Kelly, would you like to take this one? I'll take the next one. Sure. Okay. Sure. So we have an application here from Francia Brito of 88 Fremont Street. Um, Francia is looking to open a family child care for no more than six children in her home. Um, this would not in this, there would not be any changes to the building or any changes to the exterior as part of this application. It's merely adding an accessory use to an existing structure. Um, the hours of operation are between, um, scanning through here, I believe it is eight o'clock is drop-off period and five o'clock is the pickup period. 
Um, and again, parents or guardians walk or drive their children to the property and then um, either park on Fremont Street or they're walking to the property. Um, and then just for a brief period of time for drop off and pick up and then they depart. Um, so that's essentially it. It's just adding the accessory use to an existing structure. Great, thank you very much. And I will um, now uh, see if the applicant would like to say anything about the, um, the application and the, uh, the family daycare. Welcome to the ARB and um, the, the floor is yours if you would like to present anything. All right, so there's uh, one note I see in Zoom saying that um, they can't hear anything. Um, you should, if you have uh, English or Spanish selected, you should be able to um, to hear in that channel, correct, Kelly? I believe so, yes. Okay. All right, um, so I'm not sure if we're going to have a, a present. Kelly, do you know if, there's, if there's a presentation planned this evening? I or don't think there's a presentation okay. planned. Then we'll just go ahead and, and, and start the discussion. So I'm actually going to start with um, Steve. I know that you had wanted to uh, bring something to the attention of the, the board before we got started. Uh, yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I live a few blocks away from the applicant's address. Uh, close enough that I actually received one of the postcard notifications from the Department of Planning and Community Development. So although I live nearby, I don't believe there's anything that would prevent me from objectively participating in this hearing, uh, but I did want to mention this. Um, this seemed like something that was worth uh, disclosing up front. Thank you, Madam Chair. Great. Thank you, Steve. Um, I uh, appreciate that, and I also agree. I, I don't believe it presents any conflict of interest, but I appreciate you pointing it out. Um, so what I'd like to do at this time is uh, run through the, the board members to see if there are any questions either for the applicant or for, um, for Kelly uh, regarding this application. And we'll start with Eugene. Yes, thank you. And thank you for bringing in this application to us, Ms. Brito. I do have one question. Um, do you have permission from the landlord to do this in your apartment? In, in the my house, yes. yeah, in the ADA Freeway Street, Arlington. You do. The landlord has said that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You okay? I have no other question. Great. Thank you, Jean. I'll move to Melissa for any uh, questions for either the department or the applicant. Um. Well, I will try to use my Spanish. Yo puedo usar uh, mi español un poquito. Si está bien. Bueno, muchas yes. gracias, señor yes. Brito. Um, puedo, que, quiero, que da, uh, quiero saber un poquito más de um, tu aplicación. Y por los niños, ¿hay suficiente espacio dentro, crees, en tu apartamento? Sí, mi amor. Conseguir? Sí. sí, porque la trabajadora social, eh, ella me dio el espacio y ella me dijo que sí, que podía tener eh, seis niños y él, eh, porque yo estoy ocupando, por ejemplo, mi baño, estoy ocupa, ocupando la cocina y, y la sala, la sala, el living room entero. Y ella dice que con el espacio que tiene, sí puedo tener seis niños. ¿Y ella es el, la dueña? No, yo soy la dueña, sí. solo la trabajadora social, que ellos son que le dan paso a uno para darle la licencia. Bueno, entiendo. Um, gracias. So, just so everyone knows, I was just asking her about the space in terms of um, her apartment and asking her if she felt it was enough space for the kids and just kind of getting a general sense. But um, 
Señora ben, uh, Brito, estoy... Sí. ¿sí? Um, bueno, me alegra que estás trabajando en esta forma y ya sé es duro para presentar en esta forma. Entonces, muchas gracias. Sí, thank um, you. I was just saying thank you for bringing this application in. And so I'm just trying to, you know, at this point, I don't really have further questions. I feel like if the owner and the space has been adequate, I know that um, there's a lot of review with kind of childcare as well. So in terms of a use, I'm, I'm feeling comfortable. Great, thank you so much, Melissa. Uh, Steve, any questions for either the department or the applicant? Uh, nothing, Madam Chair. Great, thank you very much. And I also, um, Appreciate the, uh, the, the application, the information that's been presented. Um, I, I see from the department's memo that this has already been reviewed by um, the early education um, group with the state of Massachusetts, Department of Early Education and Child Care. Um, so I don't have any questions either. So at this point, what I'd like to do is go ahead and open this up for um, public comment. Um, we'll uh, take any questions that, that, um, or comments that any members of the public joining us might have. Uh, so if you would like to uh, ask a question or make a comment, please use the raised hand function at the bottom of your screen. You'll have up to uh, three minutes to address the board. Again, you'll be addressing the board, not the applicant. Um, please begin your remarks by stating your first, last name, and street address. And we'll begin with Susan Ann uh, Keller. Uh, good evening, everyone. Susan Ann Keller, Six Montrose Ave here. Um, uh, first of all, thank you to all of you for all your hard work on all these meetings. Um, I just wondered if any of the neighbors other than Mr. Revelek had um, any thoughts about, um, about this small business going into their neighborhood. If you had heard from anybody, how does that process work? Do they have to... Um, Sure, so um, the typical process is that they would either come this evening, um, like you're speaking with us and, and ask any questions or um, present any thoughts that they might have, or they might submit um, a letter. And I have not heard um, specifically from any, anyone um, with their thoughts, either pro or, or um, against, the, um, against uh, this, this evening or um, in, a, in a letter leading up to it. Great, thank you very much. Thank you, Jenny and Kelly. I spoke about myself. I don't know if you've heard, uh, Kelly, I'll actually ask you if the department has received any correspondence. No, we have not received any correspondence. Great, thank you. Just to note, um, Rachel, please. Um, Steve received a postcard because we received, we, we sent out postcards, postcard mailings to everybody in advance of these public hearings. So if they received a postcard, they might've been in touch with us either by email or phone or even come to the office with any particular comments about this, this application. And we did not receive anything um, as Kelly noted. And also it would have been posted with our agenda had we received any sort of written comments. Great, thank you, Jenny. Uh, let's see, we'll move on to the uh, next uh, public speaker this evening, and it will be Joanne Preston. Can you hear me? I can, thank you. Yes, well, I, 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 um, I'm very pleased to see her um, forming a small business and one that for, for which there is so much need. Um, we at the Arlington Housing Authority didn't know anything about it. And, uh, but it is in their lease, they can have businesses in their home. I was just wondering if the state required any insurance or will it be covered by our insurance, the housing authority insurance? Uh, thank you, Jeremy. So I have to have insurance, so I don't. So I'm happy to direct that um, question to um, the, the department to see if they can answer that. And then following that to the applicant, did you have any other questions? Um, That's fine. Um, but I, I guess what you meant by the landlord, the state agency, the Department of Housing and Community Development, because we didn't know about it. <laughs> um, and I'm sure it'll be welcomed by many of the residents. But we just, I just wanted to know what the applicant knows about insurance. 
whether she doesn't have to have it or she has it or she's covered by our insurance. Sure. So um, I will certainly ask uh, Jenny, um, I believe that that is covered, not through obviously this jurisdiction through the ARB, but through the um, mass um, uh, child care and, um, excuse me, the mass early education and child care department. Let me make sure I have the name correctly, correct. Um, so we may have to direct that question um, to that particular department, but Jenny, I'll, I'll um, turn that over to you to see if you have any information. I do not have specific information about the level of insurance that is required under state law relative to this particular use for the applicant in their licensing process. Um, the applicant did provide us with some information about this, and we also received some information from the clerk's office, but that's, that's just to get the business license. It doesn't necessarily speak to um, this particular question. So I, I believe the applicant would need to provide that answer. Thank you. Great. So um, Ms. Ms. Brito, I'm not sure if that's a, a question that you would be able to, to answer this evening. Um, eh, eh, I know seguro, but I'm in the process. The process. There's a process. The process. So, OK. And, okay. and that's so the insurance piece is a is a process that you are currently working with the Department of um, Early Education and Child Care. Is that correct to to ensure that you have that uh, uh, the correct insurance in place? Is that my understanding? I have a question, please. Is is the is the um, is the uh, is ensuring that you have the right insurance in place something that you're currently working with the um, the Department of Early Education and Child Care on? Yes, this is my daughter. I interpret it. You? My daughter? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interpret it for her. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Si tú vas a hablar con... con... So she's gonna um, get her own insurance. She's in, she's just gonna get be in the process of that. She's gonna begin the process process to get her insurance for the daycare. Great, thank you so much for the confirmation. No I appreciate it. And and just to confirm um, for everyone on this call again, that it's not something that the redevelopment board has um, jurisdiction or oversight over. That is something that um, we will um, in, we will. Um, we will again not be ruling on any anything related to the insurance this evening. That is something that the um, applicant separately for her license with the state will need to work through with the Department of Early Education and Child Care. Sounds right. All right. Um, are there any other members of the public who wish to um, speak this evening on um, on this permit docket number? Seeing no other hands raised, we will go ahead and close public comment for our first agenda item. And I'll turn it back uh, over to the, to the board for any uh, final questions or uh, discussion. Um, and I'll start with Jean. I mean, this sounds fine to me. I'm a little concerned that uh, the housing authority didn't know that this was in the works, although I appreciate Ms. Preston 
um, being here tonight and saying that this is authorized by the least. I think um, it, it was very helpful to know that. I think the issue of insurance is not something that we ask any other applicant. It's between uh, the applicant and whatever business and customers they have, mm -hmm. or in this case, perhaps between the applicant and the housing authority, if it has concerns about that. Um, and it was good to see that um, Ms. Brito already <laughs> has the um, um, regular license to provide family child care services for up to six um, children um, in the site. Um, so I'm, I'm fine with this. I would just want something added to the special permit that says that she must maintain um, that license that she has in order to continue doing child care. And I think this is good. I'm glad it's happening. Right, and to clarify, um, Jean, it's to maintain the license with the um, Massachusetts Department of Early Education and Child Care is what you're referring to when, when you say- I think it's called the, the license. Um, yeah, Department of Early Education Services. Yeah. And it's the um, Family Child Care Services license, the one she has now. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Melissa, any- additional uh, questions or comments? Um, no, not at this time. Great, Steve? Um, I'll just note that um, Monotomy Manor is the is family housing for the Arlington Housing Authority. There are lots of kids over there and this seems completely, um, completely appropriate for a completely appropriate use. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Kim, did you have any um, any questions or or comments uh, on on this article? Excuse me, on this permit number. We're not in a warrant article anymore. Um, do you need my uh, vote or comments since it came so late? Uh, I got the email saying it was the meeting started at seven. We can we can vote with with four if you would like to abstain. Um, I think that 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 would be would be um, potentially be fine. So yes, that, I, if you would I, I feel comfortable listen. with that, that would be fine. I didn't listen to anything, and I think it was unfair for me to just judge like this. That's that's it. I, I agree, Ken. So I think when we call for the vote, if you could abstain, that would be helpful. Sure. Great. Thank you. Uh, so at this time, um, I'd like to see if there is a motion to um, approve this request for a special permit with the special condition that the applicant maintain um, their current family child care license. Jean, does that uh, capture the special condition that you were looking to add? You're on mute. Yes, it does, thank you. It's actually called um, a regular license to provide family child care services. Also in the application packet, if you need me to bring that up and in your vote, could you please reference the docket number? Yes, absolutely. So is there a motion to approve a uh, special permit docket number 3694 uh, with the um, special condition that the applicant remain or that the applicant maintain um, their uh, regular family child care license with the state? So moved. Is there a second? Second. We'll take a vote, starting with uh, Ken. I'm going to abstain. Dean? Uh, yes. Melissa? Yes. Steve? Yes. And I'm a yes as well. So with four votes, uh, docket number 3694 is approved. So thank you very much for joining us this evening. And uh, we wish you all the best with your business. All right. So we will go to the next process. No, because she said that she was already done. Tell her that thank you. Eh, thank you. But I wanted to say one question. She wanted to explain. Oh, she just wanted Please, to explain. She just wants to explain to you how, you know, she's been with this for, for three years. So she's happy that you guys are approving her. In Dominican Republic. And, and in the and Dominican Republic, she also has education, her license for education. Licencia. And she's still continuing to get an education here as well. 
ya sí, en casa es me trabajando ya finis para comenzar mi and she's mi finishing de at her job so that she can start her business here y mi último diploma ya para sacarlo en Urban College ya and she's todo. getting her diploma in, in Urban College here in Boston in Massachusetts somewhere I think it's in Boston <laughs> y amo mi profesión and she loves her profession okay that's wonderful we're, okay. we're so fortunate to have you as a member of our community and to provide this this service for your neighbors so thank you so much really appreciate yes. having you entonces uh, como por ejemplo como por, eh, que ellos me, da, me dan de crédito como una esta hoja la voy a tener en un cuadro o Oh, do you guys send her anything or no? Like, um, just saying she's approved or? Yep. So what will happen um, next is that either um, Kelly or Jenny will follow up with you and talk with you about the, the next steps to, to move forward. Jenny, is there anything else that you'd like to mention regarding next steps? That's, uh, uh, we will be in touch, certainly, but it will be uh, at least about 20 to 25 days after the board's vote tonight. They sign mm -hmm. a decision and then... There's an appeal period um, for that decision, and then it becomes uh, certified. Um, so there, there are some other steps to this process after the board's vote tonight. Y que me siento okay. bien agradecida por, eh, porque yo tienen un comité muy bonito y todo muy organizado. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for, for being with us this evening. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, thank you so much. So we will now close uh, agenda item number one and move to agenda item number number two, which is the uh, public hearing for a special permit, docket number 3693 for 89 Alpine Street. Um, this is uh, again for a family child care facility for no more than six children at 89 Alpine Street. And uh, Jenny, I believe that you had mentioned that you would be speaking on behalf of the department for this. Um, Kelly's actually, Kelly's gonna do this one too. Kelly's gonna do this one too, here? fabulous. Yeah, is, yeah. is the applicant here? I don't know if this um, individual here named guest is the applicant. Um, it's Nelly or Ivan. I communicated with them last week just to confirm. Okay. Um, so if there, are, if we don't have the applicant with us this evening, um, we would need to, I'm assuming, vote to um, to defer this to our to our next meeting, which would not be able to be Wednesday because we've already posted that agenda. So it would have to be what is the next Monday. Okay. The eighth, sorry, the ninth. That's the the sixteenth. Is your next? That's meeting. our next meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, if you if you wanted to meet on the ninth, we don't need any more meetings. I'm all set. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> Just another Monday. Is the guest not the applicant? It doesn't. Nobody. They have not taken themselves off mute, so I'm assuming not. Uh. Let's see. So I think in the absence of being able to um, to have the applicant here with us for for this uh, item, is there a motion to um, to continue the uh, the public hearing for docket number three six nine three for eighty nine Alpine Street to our next to our meeting on Monday May sixteenth. So motioned. Is there a second? Yeah, I'll second it. All right, so let's go ahead and take a vote, starting with Ken. Yes. Jean. Yes. Melissa. Yes. Steve. Yes. And I'm a yes as well. So that closes uh, agenda item number two. And uh, that takes us through all of our um, all of our regular business this evening. I will go ahead and um, see if, uh, go ahead and open, I know we didn't have it on our agenda, but we can certainly open an um, open forum to see if there are, um, are any members of the public who wish to speak to the board this evening, uh, given that we have uh, so little bit of time left in our meeting. Um, so if there are any members of the public on the phone with us this evening or on the video, 
who wish to um, speak, please use the raise hand function and I'll give you uh, a minute or two. All right, seeing none, we will close open forum. And uh, the only additional item of business that I had was to congratulate um, Jenny Rate and um, Adam Chapdelaine on their uh, recent recognition from the Citizens Housing and Planning Association um, for the Open Door Champion Award that they just were um, just were awarded on Thursday of last week. So congratulations and thank you for all your hard work on the Fair Housing Act. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Ken. Appreciate that. Absolutely. Um, is there any other uh, any other questions from the board or any other open items before we move to adjourn? Yeah, I just want to say sorry about uh, missing today's meeting. I got the time mixed up with Wednesday's meeting. That's okay. It's Stuck there's not a lot of back and forth. So I appreciate you joining. Thank you, Ken. So just to confirm then, um, Wednesday's meeting is at 7 p.m. Uh, our agenda was just posted today. Uh, so we will meet on Wednesday to review the um, the memo that, that Kelly has, uh, has prepared for us uh, for our special town meeting. And I believe that's our only agenda item. All right, uh, so with that, is there a motion to adjourn? So motioned. Are we adjourning to town meeting? We are adjourning to town meeting. Thank you very much. Is there a motion to adjourn to town meeting? So motioned. I'll second. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll take a vote starting with Kim. Yes. Jean. Yes. Melissa. Yes. Steve. Yes. And I'm the yes as well. Thank you all and uh, have a good meeting tonight. Have a productive meeting tonight. <laughs> Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.